What's going on everyone? So we're back at dumpster diving and this is the Dollar Tree dumpsters back here. What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and today's video girl, we got some tea for you, honey. We got some drama. So the other day I posted a dumpster diving video. You can check that video down below, the original. Well, so many y'all live for it. I went dumpster diving again, Miss Thing, and I found some cute little stuff. Let me show you. Okay, so this one just had nothing but trash. So I'm gonna go to the other one, check that one out. What's going on everyone? So we're back at dumpster diving and this is the Dollar Tree dumpsters back here. And what do we got? This looks like some perfume. I'm just gonna throw it down here. All right. And let's see. I guess they were storing some Valentine's Day stuff here. See if we can find anything that looks like trash. Some containers. If you want it, these are really good to store stuff like at home, like in the backyard or something. If you're gonna do like any type of pottery and stuff, I'll put that right there. Let me see. So we got more boxes, more of these crates. I'm gonna put this one here. Um, the open containers. It looks like there were some spices, super heavy DD low drain another open chanel number no. five inspired i guess I'll put that here with the other stuff okay Let's see what they got here it's like some open toilet bowl container cleaner stuff put that there um looks like some valentine's day stuff here like cards or like a display Um, garden stuff for the house, another garden stuff for the house, lots of boxes, looks like, say chocolate, chocolate candy, looks like they're right there I think, um, perfume, that, it's kind of hard to do that, stuff here. Crash, papers, more papers. All right, so we got those, some of those crates. These look pretty good. slinky if you want to keep a slinky <laughs> all right so what is this valentine's day cards down here no not yet oh it's so dirty so so far it's so dirty so far that i have some of that stuff there um let's see what we got here somebody got that So, yeah, not that much of a picking because I already know all these are majority boxes. And then there's some Easter stuff there. So that's a, probably already inside the store. Uh, another perfume. Let's see what they got over here. There's nothing in there. And... Oh, what if somebody was sleeping in there? That would have been crazy. I don't know close that. So I got a couple questions that y'all been asking me. 
mean? I'm just gonna go through it, girl. What's the best time to go dumpster diving? I usually go around 11 o'clock, 12 midnight. I usually find that it's more quiet, more peaceful. Most of the stores are gonna be closed. There's less people around, so there's less distractions, girl, so you can go ahead and do your thing. Another question y'all asked me was, what day should you go dumpster diving? Now, this is a really, really interesting one, Miss Thing. Look, the first time you go dumpster diving, you're gonna give a lot of hits, you're gonna get a lot of misses, so you know, you're not always gonna come out on top with a lot of stuff, if anything. You always leave really dirty, really messy sometimes. But once you start clocking at the house, girl, and you start figuring out what days the dumpster trucks come, because if you call the store, girl, they're not really gonna tell you. You're gonna be like, why you wanna know when the dumpster comes? You get what I'm saying? Some people really take it to the extreme and they'll camp out and have a little folder and they can count what days the dumpster truck comes and what days it doesn't come. But I find the best days are gonna be on your weekend. Typically those days are really, really busy, so there's a lot of stuff getting thrown out, a lot of returns, things of like that nature so I think the best days would be on the weekends but it's gonna be different for every store every location every part of the city or planet you're from so just study try to figure it out for yourself what days it comes what days is packed what days is not packed and things like that so just keep checking girl so somebody was like what do you wear dumpster diving what's well, you no know me girl I'm not bothered I go in full crown full fake fur Chanel honey full evening gown not bother but seriously you need to like at least try to wear a long sleeve shirt try to wear some shoes that really don't wear sandals you don't want to get cut on sharp edges or any glass or anything like that so just try to wear protective clothing at least gloves and a long sleeve shirt and some pants like 101 okay <clears throat> especially if you're going to be jumping into the dumpster you need to actually look around and start inspecting and clocking at the house what's inside before you jump in all right so then y'all wanted to know like well, what's the tea? What's the tea? Have you ever got told to not come back? Well, yes, girl. One time I was dumpster diving. I had a security officer tell me that I need to leave. And so then I left. And other places, they don't even bother you at all. They're not bothered. But if you really want to go into to the legality of it all, girl, in my city and state, there's an ordinance that passed that you can dumpster dive because trash is not considered private property. But before you go do it, it is different for all cities and states. So check with your local jurisdiction, girl, and find out if it's okay for you to dumpster dive because some places are real shady and they don't allow it. And then, of course, you always want to hand sanitize in the car with you. And I always say go with a friend. That way you can have someone hold a flashlight for you or put stuff in the bag and or hold the lid open for you because it's really difficult to dumpster dive by yourself. It's always easier if you bring a friend or something like that with you and y'all can divide what y'all find. But it gets really messy pretty quick because you're pulling stuff out of the dumpster, right? And you can totally trash the dumpster around it. That can get you into trouble because you do want to like leave it the way you found it. So any stuff that you throw out, don't just leave it on the floor. Put it back in so that it looks clean. There's no issue. There's no tea. You won't get in trouble, Miss Thing. And all's right with the world, huh? And not bother. That was my advice on dumpster diving. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. And I'll see you next video. Peace. What's going on? So we are at the Dollar Tree. And I just found the last pair of eyelashes in the whole entire store. It was like right here. I picked that one up. And this video is going to be like really, really, really boring. But I always wanted to do one of these boring videos where I'm at the Dollar Tree looking at stuff. Don't ask me why, but let me just get this video out the way. And then I continue to do other videos that I like to do. But yeah, let me see. Okay, so what do they have new here? LA Color Mats, Color. Um, but they have really good eyeliner here. So like that's really good. That one's really good. And uh, oh, they have jumbo ones now. Nice. Okay, so we got here kabuki brushes. There was a pair of shoes one time that had that print all over it. I think it was by Aldo, and I really wanted to buy it, but the time I went to go get it, it's already discontinued. So I was like, whatever. Uh, coming down here, these I I actually buy these. I don't know if they work or not, but I do buy them sometimes. I think it's more of a psychological thing that it's working than it actually does. Let's see, 28 sponges. It's cool. Let's see. Compresses facial microfiber. Oh, this is cool. You can wash your face. I'm going to try some of these. Hopefully, that lady, there's this lady that comes here. Last time I tried doing this, she was like 
um, you can't film in the store. And I was like, oh, okay, well, can you show me where it says that? And she was like, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Just know you can't film in the store. I was like, girl, bye. Another lie. So what do we got here? Okay, electronic stuff here. I don't think they have anything for the iPhone 7, though. But we have the old school iPhone. I'm pretty sure this will help out. What? I think I need one of these, I'm not sure. <laughs> 